So no one told you life was gonna be this way Your job's a joke, you broke Your love life's the away it's a very friendly version of Carpool Karaoke. After hosting the Friends reunion on HBO Max last month, James Corden released an 11-minute clip with the cast of the hit 90s sitcom on Wednesday's The Late Late Show. It was yeah. glorious. The late night TV host picked up Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox, Jennifer Aniston, Matt LeBlanc, David Schwimmer, and Matthew Perry in a golf cart on the Warner Brothers studio lot after they'd been filming the reunion for a day and a half. And that's when they blessed our ears with this. I was wondering if it was okay with you if we could listen to some music. Would that be okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep, the cast hit us with the show's classic theme song, Claps and All. No one told you life was gonna be this way. And they didn't miss a beat. I'll be there for you. Oh, we're nice. we're nice. we're nice. But the sweet throwback moment was interrupted after the group parked outside the set of Central Perk Coffee Shop. Or at least they thought they did. Could you imagine if you got off and it just, and that was it, dead, gone. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, you head in. Honestly, just kid nearly killed the cast of Friends. Of course, this isn't the only recent musical performance from the cast of Friends. Back in February, Court gave us her rendition of the sitcom's famous theme song on the piano. And back in May, during the highly anticipated reunion special, Lisa Kudrow performed her character Phoebe's iconic song Smelly Cat, this time with a little help from Lady Gaga. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. E.T. recently caught up with Lisa and she dished on having so much star power at the big reunion. What was it like having them all kind of in the orbit? <laughs> it was it was really thrilling because they like friends so much. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it was really, it was great. It was fun. And while the reunion included a who's who of Hollywood with stars like Mother Monster, David Beckham, Cindy Crawford, and Justin Bieber making appearances, Lisa told E.T. she was mostly just excited to see her old friends. Shooting that, shooting any of it, yeah. being in the same room with these people and getting to hug them. That was the best. And the feeling was mutual. E.T. recently sat down with the whole cast and they opened up about how emotional it was to be together on the same set 17 years after the show wrapped. How amazing was it actually to be back? I know you guys are friends anyway, to be back in this set, on the set with you all, all together, kind of in this zone again. It, it was the most emo... I, 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 I had slept so well the night before, woke up, I wasn't nervous at all, I was just feeling good. The first question, like, how do you feel? I was like... <gasps> and then started crying. Over the 10 years, obviously, we, we really grew close as a family, and part of the reason was that that initial success of the show was something that no other, no one else could relate to or, or was going through except the other five actors. So um, we, really, we really got close because of that experience, too. All I can say is that there was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neural pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. It's unexplainable, but we're the most grateful women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this. Yeah.